Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome back to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community. Today's video is coming up right after this. Ostracized from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety Dyslexia is very common Affecting 20% of the population Dyslexia represents 80 to 90% of all those with learning disabilities Reading is complex. It requires our brains to connect letters to sounds. Put those sounds in the right order and pull the words together into sentences and paragraphs we can read and understand. People with dyslexia have trouble matching the letters they see on the page with the sounds those letters and combinations make. Children and adults with dyslexia struggle to read fluently, spell words correctly, and learn a second language, among other challenges. But these difficulties have no connection whatsoever with overall intelligence. While people with dyslexia are slow readers, they are often very fast and creative thinkers. So do you think you have dyslexia? Well, we're now going to find out if you are likely or unlikely to have dyslexia. I'm now going to ask you six questions and you are going to answer with either yes or no. And then at the end of the six questions, we'll find out what that means for you. The very first question is, do you confuse visually similar words such as cat, and cot. The second question is, do you lose your place or miss out lines when you're reading? The third question is, do you have trouble from telling left to right? The fourth question is, do you get confused when you are given several instructions at once? The fifth question is, do you find it difficult to find the right word to say? The sixth and final question is, do you find it difficult to read out loud? Let's now find out what your scores mean. If you answered yes to one or less of these six questions, it's unlikely that you have dyslexia. However, if you answered yes to two or more of these questions, then it's likely and it's possible that you, in fact, have dyslexia. Dyslexia cannot be cured. It is a lifelong condition. However, with the right support, dyslexic individuals can become highly successful students and adults. Please do not self-diagnose yourself from this test. If you are now worried and concerned that you might be dyslexic, please talk to someone at your school, at your college, at your university, make an appointment with your doctors so they can diagnose you properly with dyslexia and then give you the help and support that you need to deal with it. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section down below. What did you score on this test? Have you previously been told or been diagnosed with dyslexia? How does dyslexia affect your life? Let me know in the comment section. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful, found out something new, please give this video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Authentic Mental Health for more mental health tests like this again in the future. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.